Hey everyone, it's your girl Miss Solomon from TheDatingTruth.com. Don't forget that you can subscribe to this channel up above. And you can follow me on Twitter at the Dating Truth. Now, I wanted to make a video because I've been getting some letters and emails from uh, viewers and readers of the blog, thedatingtruth.com, asking me what they can do about the person that they like. They have established this sort of friendship um, slash dating relationship with somebody and it's not moving forward. In fact, it's actually stalling and they want to move it forward and they're wondering what can they do. Typically with women, what will happen is you're dating a guy who does not want to sleep with you. He doesn't want to have physical, um, too much physical interaction with you. You know, you think as adults, you're dating, it's fun, you enjoy each other, the natural progression is sex, and for whatever reason, this man does not want to sleep with you. And it's very confusing because you're told your whole life, you know, men just want to have sex, and you assume, you know, from people that you've dated that they've wanted to sleep with you, so you're kind of in a space where, okay, well, you're spending time with me, you're spending money on me, we're having having a good time we seem to enjoy each other but this guy is not sleeping with me people who feel that your expectations cannot be met will pump the brakes on your courtship on your dating on your love life on whatever is going on they will put a stop to it when people feel like they cannot provide what you're looking for they will find ways to keep you at bay and I mean a lot of men they say you know I'm dating this woman and I'm in the friend zone or it's not moving forward what's wrong what's going on what can I do and the reason it's not moving forward in my experience is typically because this woman thinks you have expectations that she doesn't want to meet she can't meet she, that will never be fulfilled and most of the time it comes from the mere fact that she thinks you want to sleep with her and it's not just about you being touchy feely. It's not just about being affectionate. It's not being. A, it's not about being aggressive. It's just a natural instinct that human beings have when they feel expectations are present. When you are on an interview for a job, you have anxiety. You feel like there are expectations that you know there is to be met, and you don't know if you're meeting them. You don't know if you're good enough. If you're doing things right. You get nervous. And the fact of the matter is, it's a human instinct that I have seen in lots of people to put courtships and dating on halt because they feel like whatever is expected of them is not going to be met. Now, with a lot of men dating women, I've seen that the men will not sleep with these women because they think that this woman wants a relationship. They think that sex will make it almost like official because you're already hanging out, you're already spending time together, you're already quote unquote dating, and as soon as you start sleeping together, there is an expectation of um, monogamy and of commitment that maybe this man is not willing to give. When it comes to women, I find that a lot of women will put men in the friend zone or put them at bay because they are just not ready, willing, or able at that moment to sleep with this person and they feel that that is what this guy is interested in. But the pressure that it seems you're putting on this person to be physical with you, to be intimate with you, to be affectionate, to reciprocate the energy that you're putting out there is way too much. And any person will put the brakes anytime they feel that level of expectation. And they're, the only thing that you can do in order to put this person at ease is to constantly let them know that you are not interested in XYZ. A lot of men say, okay, I'm not going to sleep with this woman. I'm not going to lead her on because I don't want a relationship with her. I'm not ready for a relationship. They don't want to come out and say they're not ready for a relationship because, duh, this person's going to move on. And that's it. And people don't want that. You know, they're okay hanging out with you. They're okay spending time with you. They're okay kicking it with you until the sun comes home. But as soon as you want something that they don't, it they are afraid to tell you because they feel like you will move on. So I want to tell you, if you're dating somebody, if you're in a courtship with somebody and it seems to have stalled, stopped, it's not moving forward the way that you would like, you need to be clear on what they think you expect. Because obviously something is making them nervous and it's making them put a halt or pump the brakes on what it is you're trying to do. We don't want to be honest with ourselves and say what we want and we can't, we're so afraid that we are going to ruin what we have if we speak up. And I'm telling you, 
is really not in your hands. It really isn't. Because everybody has their own thoughts. And you'll never know what that is unless you communicate, unless you talk it out, unless you say, look, this is what I expect. This is what I want from you. Are you down? Are you not down? Because I'm telling you, what will happen is they will stop dating you. They will eventually stop calling you. They won't want to be alone with you. You will give them anxiety and it will not feel good. And they will essentially not want to date you. Bottom line is that if they tell you that you are not what they're looking for, accept it. Accept it. Don't beg. Don't plead. Don't scheme. Don't plan. Don't try to convince them otherwise. Accept it. It is your life. It is your self-esteem. You need to get yourself together and move on to somebody who appreciates what you have to offer. All about your own life, your personal happiness. You have to take responsibility for where you are in life and what you get. And the only way you can do that is if you accept the truth and the reality and live authentically. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at The Dating Truth. Subscribe to this channel up above. 